Ah, oh, yeah. Isn't it just beautiful? <laughs> Hey guys, Sir Mikey, and today we're going to be doing a video review on the Nerf Elite Rough Cut. Let's get right into the review. External overview, starting up at the front. There's no one strike barrel lug, but there are eight exposed barrels for you to front load. So you just load in your eight darts, prime it, and then you're ready to fire. Above that is the front iron sight corresponding with the rear one. If I can just show you, look closely, and yeah, they line up pretty well. Below that is the priming handle. Pretty smooth prime, fair weight, fair draw length. I like this priming handle a lot. It's very easy to use. And because it's a pump handle, it's also very quick. Above that, um, moving back is a tack rail for you to slide on any attachments you want. Preferably an optic, but there aren't really any optics that go well with this. Um, other than a red dot if you count it. But moving back, we have the rear iron sight, as I just showed you. And behind that, we have a sling mount. So you can attach a sling or a lanyard. And um, on either side of that, we also have a couple of priming indicators. So if I prime it, um, each barrel has its own priming indicator. So um, when it's orange, it's primed. And when it's black, it's not primed. Moving down to the grip. This is a fairly comfortable grip. It's a bit on the weirder side considering it extends more horizontally than vertically, but you know, for the feel, it's okay. And as for the trigger, this is a fair weight trigger, very smooth. However, there's a lot to it. First off, it's a two stage trigger. So if I prime it, you can either pull it halfway to fire one dart and then the rest of the way to fire the other, or you can prime it and then fire both of us at once. And because this blaster has more than just two barrels, you can also slam fire like that. And then at the end of the grip, we have a sling attachment point. Anyways, that is it for the external overview. Let's see it fire. Starting off with the two stage trigger. Whoops. Now firing both darts at once. Now to conclude by firing demo, I'm going to finish off with a little bit of slam fire. So what's my overall opinion on this blaster? Definitely very positive. It does everything it's supposed to. Smart AR works just fine, as does the two-stage trigger. I've been told it's a little touchy, but that can be easily beaten by just putting a little more of your finger into the guard. And yeah, I really like slam fire too. The fact that it gives you four shots with slam fire, both of which fire two darts at once, that is very nice. And you know, I just really love shotguns in general. Um, so, yeah, this is definitely going to be one of my go-to primaries. Yeah. Anyways, that kind of wraps up my review on it. Um, so should you buy it or no? Definitely get one from wherever you can. It's a little overpriced now, but, you know, if you've got the money for it, then I will not stop you from buying it. In fact, I will actually encourage you to buy one of these because they are great. And it's no wonder why the community was furious when this thing was replaced with the Warden. But yeah, that pretty much wraps up my review. Thank you all so much for watching and goodbye. Happy one year anniversary on YouTube.